huge, huge, huge win for the Phoenix Suns tonight as they defeat the Toronto Raptors by a final score of 114 to 106. A couple key things for tonight's game as Mikel Bridges is playing phenomenal basketball as of late. He's dropped 29 points, 23 points of them came in the first half. 12 of 19 shooting, he's been sensational playing in the D-Book role. I hope and wish that this play continues when D-Book comes back. I know that his, that, uh, that his um, role is going to change when D-Book comes back as D-Book's going to go back to his standard role and Mikel's going to be in a different role. But from what we've seen so far, I think this is a really, really great thing for Suns fans as they're seeing a really good young player develop right in front of their eyes as Mikel Bridges is playing phenomenal basketball on the offense and defensive end as he also had three steals um to end tonight's with a block um i think i thought it was just one of his all-around better games tonight um chris paul had a good game with 15 and 9 or my excuse me 17 and 9 as he um finished with a terrific all-around game deandre Aiden had a great double double game tonight with 22 points and 13 rebounds as he was sensational as well um i think the bench played well dario Saric had 11 damian lee also had double figures tonight. Um, the bench scored 38 points. Um, this was a really great game uh, from the bench, and it will continue to be a talking point as the season progresses and as they get healthy when it comes to playoff time. So the Suns as a whole, as a team, had 10 steals tonight, played really, really well defensively, um, had made 11 threes, shot 39% from the floor. Um, I thought it was just an all-around good game. They had a little mishap in the beginning of the third quarter where the Raptors kind of just blitzed them from the gate. But other than that, I thought they defended well. Um, I thought they played their tails off. I thought this was a great step, step in the right direction. And really good news is Devin Booker, um, after his evaluation is set on um, Wednesday, uh, he could potentially come back either later this weekend or potentially next week. So... We shall see. But until then, they have a game against the Atlanta Hawks on Wednesday that they got to prepare for. So we shall see. And another interesting note that I heard at the end of this game from another reporter as he saw Mazai Ujiri and James Jones talking tonight with the Jay Crowder trade rumors coming around the corner. There's a lot at stake here. So 